What's going on guys? So on the last episode, I uh, part one, I left y'all on red pretty much when I stopped midway through the build. But we have the box, the foam cut, the box cut, and the screw holes laid out. Now we need to go ahead and remove this brass insert. And as you can see, it doesn't come out. There is a locking tab right here. So go ahead and get your flathead screwdriver. Put it in the corner right here. And it will pop right off. Throw that in the trash. Take that uh, or pressure release valve out. Now I gotta cut this off. I use a cheap step bit that I got from Harbor Freight and it drills it out in no time flat. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Eye protection is recommended for this method. Do not look at it when you do that because brass shavings will go everywhere. Now we'll just take and clean up all those little shavings. If you want one of these, I'll have it linked in the bio and well, the description, so check that out. Amazing little shop uh, blower for these boxes. Cleans it up real nice. For anybody asking, it's this moving blanket that I'm using for the table. Clean my area up really quick. So now that we have that drilled out, we can go ahead and grab a bigger step bit that I actually use for my uh, switches. And we're going to drill out to appropriate size. And if you're new to this, check in between every step. Get your switch and it fits perfect. So now I can go ahead and mount that, put the locking nut on, and we'll tighten it down. And there we have it. So now we have our switch installed. We have our hole cut. I got to blow out this amp also. Don't forget to do that if you don't have it already in the packaging because it will uh, get some metal shavings in it sometimes. All right. So let's go ahead and open this box back up, knock out any crumbs, and we'll move on to sound ending. Is it necessary? No. Do I like to use it? Yes. Why? It helps reduce the flex of the box. I put a single piece on the top, and I put a single piece on the bottom. Now, if I have some little bit more rowdy speakers uh, that Put off a little bit more bass i will go ahead and add a second layer to the bottom these actually get pretty rowdy so they could use it but for this video i'm not gonna and it's a shop box anyway i got a couple shop boxes and we'll just lay that down some people like to completely coat the inside and sound down there i don't and then go ahead and roll that out but for this application and where I live in Florida, it's still a good temperature outside. So it's not being a pain in the butt to uh, lay out. Now, if it's super cold, you will catch hail trying to lay that. Now, we got to go ahead and cut the sound ender off these holes. Grab yourself a razor blade or a knife and cut it out. There we go, there's one. And you can lay those pieces in the box if you want. I throw them over to the side and I use them in uh, 1800 builds. Pretty much all my 1800 builds are just scrap pieces of a uh, sound deadener. All right, there we have it. That is done. 
So now our box is fully sound in to my liking. Switch is installed. Grab a harness for the switch. Pop that in. Perfect. And we're good to go. So you're probably thinking, well, what's the next step? I could install the speakers right now if I really wanted to, but that's going to be closer to the end on my boxes. A little bit of sound in right there. I'll just squish up. Perfect. Now, this part is essential, and we're going to go ahead and cut to part three of the video, guys, so make sure you check the description for part three. Thanks for watching.